Good morning. This is Luke Thomas, home course here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 7.03 in the morning on Monday, September 12th, 2022. 7.03 in the morning on Monday, September 12th, 2022. <clears throat> we have a, a couple earthquakes that are going to be happening, happening in uh, California. You can see we're starting to get some foreshocks here in the San Francisco Bay. We have a 2.9 that hit uh, last uh, evening. Um, that one is was in uh, Piedmont, uh, just northeast of Oakland, and then went off of uh, San Francisco uh, Bay there in uh, close to the San Francisco Zoo. Otherwise, we're having some here, uh, three of them there, 2.0, 0 0.9, and 1.2 in Portola Valley, right here along the San Andreas Fault. <clears throat> That is the uh, most likely spot for this quake to occur. Looking for a strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay uh, during the next uh, about 24 hours, 24, 36 hours. And uh, you can see right here, this is the forecast map for the next uh, couple of days. And then the risk shifts to the south and still thinking that the quake in San Francisco Bay will be the larger of the two but we'll have a strong earthquake in Southern California as well on the 13th into the 14th. So look for two strong earthquakes. We'll start off with one in the San Francisco Bay and then one down near Los Angeles and San Diego on the 13th into the 14th. Again, the one near the San Francisco Bay, most likely near uh, Portola Valley there uh, is the most likely to be the strongest of the two. <clears throat> So look, uh, be sure to warn your friends and family about that coming up in the next couple of days. First of all, in the San Francisco Bay during the next 24 hours, a strong earthquake there. 6.0 uh, earthquake is possible there. And a strong 5.0 or larger earthquake is likely down in Southern California on the 13th and 14th. In Greece, it's pretty quiet over in Greece. <clears throat> you can go to quakeprediction.com and check these forecast maps out. The 12th and the 13th, quiet and even quieter on the 13th and 14th. So you get something here in uh, southwestern Greece on uh, today. Otherwise, pretty quiet. <clears throat> Japan, we could get a uh, 5.0, 4.0 to 5.0 in the Tokyo area, Ibaraki, that area, Chiba, during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And then it gets quieter after that. Uh, risk near Nagoya after that. And then in Italy, the risk is way up here in the north uh, on the 13th and 14th. So once again, looking for a strong earthquake, 6.0 earthquake is possible in the uh, San Francisco Bay today, uh, most likely in the next 24 hours in the area in the southwest portion of the San Francisco Bay, most likely. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, on the 13th and 14th, a strong earthquake, about a 5.0 down near uh, Los Angeles and San Diego on the 13th and 14th. Please warn your friends and family about this. It's going to be a strong earthquake in both locations in Los Angeles and in uh, most strongest earthquake will be in the uh, San Francisco Bay. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.